even if you make an AGI, why can't you just shut down the computer and be like, you know what, we found a solution to the AI safety. You know, if AI can ever reach a point where it can be a threat to humanity, why can't you just turn off the computer? Why can't you just hit the power off button and boom, you have the AI in control. I had other questions like, how do we suddenly reach a point where we are considering stopping the AI progress? We had GPT-4 models. They were good. I mean, I would say they're okay. They're not amazing. How did we suddenly reach a point where we're thinking of metacognition and AI models that can think about thinking and all those crazy stuff? How did we reach here? And what does all of these things mean to us for people like us who are not AI experts? So I did a lot of research and I spent a shit ton amount of time watching a lot of videos, reading a lot of articles just to make sure that I have all of these doubts cleared in my head. And now that I've cleared all of those doubts to some extent, I think I'm gonna summarize all of them in this video for you guys so that you don't have to do all of this research and spend so much time. Okay, so let's start the video. few days ago, OpenAI removed their CEO, Sam Altman, and then he joined back again. I'm gonna skip through the entire story if you want to know the entire story in details. I have another video I'm gonna link in the description or somewhere in uh, the comment section, so check that out. The point is, after this removal and rejoining of the CEO of one of the leading AI tech company in the world, OpenAI, there were a lot of leaks that happened on Reddit, on 4chan, on Twitter. People came out talking about this new model that is called the QSTAR model. There was some document that was leaked on 25th November 2023 and this leaked document shows that we are not ready for QSTAR. QSTAR is what they call GPT-5 or a new advanced AI model that has the ability to do mathematics which is a very crucial ability in AI field specifically because until now the models that we had like GPT-4, GPT-3, all of these models can understand language to some extent, summarize it and talk to humans in natural language but they don't reason well. They, they don't have the ability to think about maths they don't think in numbers and the problem with that is since they don't know how to do maths they cannot do logical stuff so if you ask them what is 2 plus 2 they'll come up with the answer 4 but if you tell them that 2 plus 2 is 5 they'll agree to you and they'll say yes 2 plus 2 is 5 because they have learned natural language they haven't learned logical reasoning yet as soon as an AI model will be able to do logical reasoning that's when we're gonna say that okay we're closer to AGI now think about it AI models can see AI models can generate images AI models can uh, read text the only thing they can't do right now is logical stuff you know so yeah that would be the next breakthrough in AI whenever that happens now back to the paper so this paper talks about some AI system that has been internally developed in OpenAI which is called Qualia and this paper also talks about some of the capabilities of Qualia. It describes that Qualia has an exceptional ability in improving its own actions. So what that basically means is just like us humans, we as humans do something and then we fail at it and then we figure out okay these are the steps we took and we failed so now this time we're gonna took these steps maybe this time will pass basically we have the ability to think about our own actions and the ability to think about our own actions is what separates us from the current generation of ai models but this qualia the advanced ai system that they talk about in the paper um it is supposedly having this ability too plus qualia demonstrate a significant capability for accelerated learning across different domain what that basically means is Qualia can use the knowledge of one domain and then learn the same thing in a different domain. So for example, I know how to ride a cycle. I can use the knowledge and then I can learn how to ride a motorcycle because they are kind of similar but also different in some way. AI models could not do it until now. But this paper says that Qualia can do it. And there were some other crazy things that they say Qualia can do. However, um, these are a little more complex and I don't want to go into the details. I'll link the papers in the description. You can read all of these things yourself and go in as much detail as you want. With that being said, I just wanted us to be on the same page. So now we know that QSTAR is a new model um, that OpenAI has internally developed according to speculations. Okay, the, all of these are speculations. So take them with a very huge grain of salt, by the way. So to understand how we reached this point where our stupid models like GPT-4 can think about thinking, we need to learn a little bit about Q-learning. So what is Q-learning?
Q learning is one of my favorite machine learning algorithm. Back when I was in college, I did a lot of projects in the field of reinforcement learning and specifically Q learning because this was very exciting for me. The way I like to think about Q learning is very simple. So consider an environment. Let's say our world is an environment, and me, I'm an agent, and now I can take certain actions. For example, I can eat food, I can walk, I can jump, I can run, I can. type and i can sing these are some of the examples of a few actions that i can take in the environment and the way it works in real world is that i do some actions for example i eat food and then after doing some action i get some reward for it it could be a positive reward it could be a negative reward for example if i'm eating food i'll get a positive reward i'm no longer feeling hungry but if i jump from a roof i'll get negative reward which is that i'll break my bones not ideal and the way i learn about all of these things is by judging the reward if i'm getting positive reward i will do those things more often if i'm getting negative reward i'll not do those things for example i'll not jump off the roof because i know it's going to hurt me a lot okay now here are two important things that i think about one of them is that i am using cross domain learning i'm learning from other experiences i might have jumped from bed when i was a child and i realize okay it's hurting me so i'm using this knowledge and i'm building on top of that and i'm saying that i will not jump from the roof so one thing is cross domain learning that i'm doing another thing that i'm doing is that i am working on the basis of rewards if i'm getting positive reward i'm doing it more often i know i'm getting positive reward for making more youtube videos cuz i'm getting more subscribers more views etc etc which reminds me please subscribe to the channel immediately anyways so since uploading more videos is helping me get more subscribers which is a positive reward for me i'm doing more of it right this is how humans work in the real world and that's exactly the concept of q learning in q learning also you have an agent you have a environment and the agent can take particular actions in the environment and based on those actions uh, agent will receive some reward and then that would reward would decide if that action was good or bad and if you do this n number of times agent will be able to learn new stuff and agent will be able to learn how to do the right action in every situation what that basically means is agent can now predicts its future rewards based on the current action after the training is done and uh, this is very close to consciousness because basically agent is thinking about its own thinking agent knows if i do this i'll get this reward i should not be doing this and this is the most exciting part of q learning for me if i go a little deeper into q learning i can talk about q table which is a data structure that we use in q learning which basically stores the uh, reward corresponding to particular action and then we keep on updating that using some um, bellman equation and it looks very complex i can show it to you on the screen right now however um, you don't need to know the exact details of all of it until unless you want to work or learn how q learning exactly works the next thing that we need to think about is how can this be useful for open ai so we know that open ai has one of the best large language models to ever exist on the planet this this stupid model i call it a stupid human so right now gpt4 is a stupid human this particular model cannot think about its own thinking cannot make decisions cannot be logical in any way however it is a stupid human because it can talk to other people and it can say senseless stuff about other people so gpt4 is a stupid human right now if you take a stupid human and you give it the ability to think about its actions i mean be logical right and you can do that using q learning algorithms i don't know how to do that again but you can potentially use a q learning algorithm somehow with this stupid human and now suddenly this human can think about its actions and the rewards that it will get and suddenly this stupid human is no longer stupid and suddenly this stupid human is a normal human like one of us isn't it fascinating for you this is such a small concept that is so easy to understand for anyone even if you're not a programmer it's very easy to understand for you how you can make a stupid human into a normal human using a q learning algorithm if they have managed to do it well we have a normal human we no longer have a stupid human right and that is scary let me tell you why it is scary now this is the most exciting part of the video for me because this is when we get to talk about the normal human which is the agi artificial general intelligence why is it scary having agi 
सो थिंक अबाउट इट हंड्रेड्स ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ईयर्स अगो वी वर मंकीज और एप्स और वट एवर वी वर इन द इवोल्यूशन हाई रेर की दोज वर स्टूपेड ह्यूम एंड देन इट टू कस हंड्रेड्स ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ईयर टू रीच वेयर वी आर राइट नाउ वेयर वी कैन थिंक अबाउट आर ओन एक्शन एंड वी टेक द बेस्ट पॉसिबल एक्शन इन एवरी सीनेरियो और वी जनरली ट्राई टू डू दैट राइट बट इट टू कस थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ईयर्स ऑफ एवोल्यूशन टू रीच दिस पॉइंट राइट but with ai it is not going to take thousands of years with ai it will take let's say a few years a few months or even a few weeks if our technology is so developed humans evolve very slowly but ai in comparison to human can evolve rapidly and this is the problem why because if ai keeps on improving itself so rapidly we humans cannot improve ourselves so rapidly so ai will reach a point where it is super intelligent super intelligent as in way intelligent than us now let's think about it from our own perspective okay i am a human i see ants all the time i see cockroaches all the time cockroaches are stupid animals okay cockroaches do not think about their own actions so much okay they'll go anywhere they'll do anything they just need food they can think about getting food but they don't think about a lot of other things they don't pay taxes they don't go to schools they don't learn music they don't make youtube videos they are stupid animals okay i'm sorry i really like cockroaches but they are stupid animals right and now those stupid animals think that us humans are super intelligent right and what do we do as super intelligent human beings we kill them why do we kill them because we don't need them those are stupid animals we don't need them now think about ai if ai reaches that level of super intelligence using this evolutionary technique um we are fucked because we are still cockroaches in front of a ai model who's super intelligent and that is what all of this fuss is about ai reaching super intelligence is not good for humans just like we are not good for dumb creatures like cockroaches now you can be a very good person and not kill cockroaches however not everyone is going to be as good as you and people are going to kill cockroaches either way so if ai reaches super intelligence one of those models are going to be like you know fuck you i don't need humans those are stupid dumb creatures let's kill them once again i said this towards the start of this video i'm going to say this towards the end of this video all of these things are speculations take all of the information that i talked about in this video with a grain of salt so now you may ask me if all of these are speculations why do you need to know about all of this in the first place even if they are speculations right now they might be true at some point of time in future so it's always good to be aware of all these things it's always good to know about new stuff and that's why i made this video for you guys i hope it helps you understand the entire buzz that is going around agi right now and it motivates you or inspires you a little bit to go and do your own research i'm going to link all of these things all of the videos all of the articles in the description go and check them out and please 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 consider subscribing to my channel okay